A Cleveland survey finds that men prefer to talk about sports, work, and politics more than health. Well, no big surprise there. It's a different story for some men who have a potentially life-threatening condition called hereditary angioedema, also known as HAE. Now, joining us today is one man with HAE, Alex West, along with Dr. Michael Manning. Thank you both for joining us. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Dr. Manning, let's start with you. Can you describe HAE in a little more depth for us? So HAE, or hereditary angioedema, is a rare genetic condition that causes episodes of swelling anywhere in the body. There's no part that's not safe. Um, your hands, your feet, it can attack the face. Gastrointestinal tract uh, attacks are extremely severe. It's rare, occurs in about one in 10,000 to one in 50,000 individuals. And so one of the problems with it being rare is that there's a significant delay in diagnosis. And we're here to help raise awareness of this condition so that we can shorten that. On average, it takes 10 to 11 years from onset of symptoms to somebody getting diagnosed with hereditary angioedema. Um, there's an excellent website, discoverhae.com, that will have more information about some of these symptoms that you may be suffering with, uh, how to get diagnosed, even maybe tracking a physician. So our goal is that we raise some awareness, make people understand that if they're suffering with symptoms that haven't been dealt with well or don't respond to typical therapy, they can seek more information and hopefully get the right diagnosis. Right, and Alex, of course, you've been living with HAE. Tell us about your diagnosis and what it's meant for your life. Uh, I've struggled with HAE for 36 years now, uh, having my first initial attack probably at the age of 13. Um, it has been trying. Um, it's an enigma, you know, the unknown. Um, I've uh, had these attacks and kind of written them off as though they were uh, just um, a uh, allergic reactions to food or uh, just some allergy, uh, allergic reaction in general. Um, and that's not the case. And so uh, getting information about this disease has really been important and has been life changing for me and giving me the opportunity to know how to manage and talk to my doctor and get the information that I need to, to kind of help me manage this, this disease. Well, and the fact is that your family has some history with this, don't they? Yes, correct. Um, this uh, HAE, hereditary angioedema, has affected my uh, family uh, for more than four generations. Um, again, like I said, uh, uh, I've lived with it for 36 years, um, and I've just recently been diagnosed as of the last couple of years. Um, but prior to that, my mother, my grandmother, and my great-grandmother suffered with hereditary angioedema uh, and had really no, no recourse whatsoever. There was no one to turn to. There were no doctors. There were no trials. There was no information about this disease um, and so it's important to me that we kind of communicate and share that information um, it has made a, a major a drastic difference in my life and I'm sure that it, it, it would in most individuals um, that are suf suffering with hereditary angioedema right very important like you were saying to raise that awareness and doctor uh, we'll leave the last word to you once more what would you tell people who think that they have this well the first thing is, is as we're talking about today is communicate with family members if there's a family history of something unusual talk to your doctor uh, this month we're celebrating HAE Day so we're trying to raise global awareness about this not just with patients but also the healthcare community uh, again that uh, website discoverhae.com is an excellent resource for more information for patients and individuals if they've heard something today that kind of strikes a chord says gosh I wonder if Go to that website, you can get some more information. Right, it always takes that one moment when you hear something that, like you say, turns that light bulb on, and it's a good time to go talk to your doctor. So thank you both so much, gentlemen, for joining Absolutely. us today. Thank you thank so you much. Alex. Definitely. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. <laughs>